Hey everyone, I wanted to make a fast tutorial on how to repair and upgrade your blade inductrix or tiny whoop. I'm not a huge fan of long how-to videos, so I'm going to try to get all the info that you need to know into as short of an amount of time as possible. Um, I'll be replacing uh, the entire frame as well as the motors, and the links to all of these parts are going to be in the description below. Um, as you can see from this picture, I've been super gluing mine for quite a while now. Uh, my motors aren't quite centered, and I'm getting some vibrations during flight, so it's time to upgrade and repair. So I went with this frame off of Amazon. Um, it does weigh a little bit more than the stock. Um, the black one is 5 grams, whereas the stock is 3.3, um, so it's roughly 1.7 grams more. Um, but you're only talking about you know a 5% increase in the total weight of the aircraft. Um, and look at the rigidity of this black frame, it should be able to handle a lot more abuse than the stock ones. So start by removing the props and battery by wedging a small knife uh, in between the motors and the props. Um, you can remove them without bending either the motor shafts or, or your propellers. And when the copter is facing away, you're going to notice three screws. A uh, small Phillips head screwdriver should do the trick. Now this, this black frame isn't an exact OEM replacement, and the black backmost screw um, you're not going to be reinstalling it. There's actually not a spot for it on the new frame. Now that being said, um, you, you will have three screws, three of the original four screws, holding that control board to the frame, and I really think that, that you shouldn't have any issues with that. Um, be careful as you, as you remove the top of this thing, as there's obviously wires connecting the top to the bottom. Uh, the bottom part being your helicopter, and the top yellow piece uh, being the full FPV unit, so your camera and your video transmitter. So disconnect each one of the, your motors from the main board, but don't remove them just yet from the frame. Um, by leaving them in, it's easier to ensure that you don't mess up the direction. Uh, remember, when this helicopter is facing away from you, the top left and bottom right most motors are your counterclockwise ones, and your top right and bottom left are the, are the clockwise ones. So there's one more screw after, after you remove the top piece that needs to be removed um, in order to take the board all the way out. Um, and also take a look at this white arrow on the, on the top of the control board. It's showing you the um, direction and orientation uh, of the board. So uh, make sure when you swap that over it's the, it's the same uh, direction as you found it. Um, swap that board over and install that, reinstall that front screw in order to secure it. And after that, you can start to um, swap the motors over from the old frame onto the new one um, without messing up which one goes where. Uh, be very careful when you do this as these leads can rip out of the bottom of the motors really easily. Um, in my case, I'm, I'm upgrading the motors. Uh, I wanted a little bit more power than the stock Tiny Whoop. Um, and again, uh, the link to these new motors or these upgraded motors is going to be in the description below. Now, if you look at the bottom of mine, um, there's actually two of these motors uh, have black and white leads on them, and two of them have blue and red leads. Uh, the ones with the white and black are the counterclockwise ones, and they're going to go in the top left and bottom right corners. The ones with the uh, red and blue leads on them are going to be the clockwise ones and go in the top right and bottom left corners. Now the wires on your upgraded motors uh, will be a little bit longer than the stock ones. I swapped over the little uh, rubber bands or grommets, if you will, from the original frame uh, in order to help secure them. And you can also use a small piece of scotch tape if you, if you were to rip those. Uh, you want to make sure that there isn't any extra pieces of the wire hanging off um, as these things will get caught as soon as you crash and it will rip the leads either out of the control board or the bottom of the motor. So make sure that you know they're really clean and, and not messy. Now if you take a look at the bottom of this frame, it is actually designed for a square lithium polymer battery. Um, I was able to find a, a small piece of foam in my, in my RC kit and shoved it in that battery bay and it holds my stock battery just fine and uh, that, that small piece of foam didn't even register on my scale so I'm not too worried about the, the very tiny um, increase in weight. So to finish up, uh, put your props back on in the same orientation that you removed them. Remember top left, bottom right, counterclockwise, top right, bottom left, clockwise, um, and get back to flying. If you found this video to be helpful, uh, I'd really appreciate you hitting the like button below, and if you have some extra time, be sure to check out a few of my other videos.